uh, coming back to the Indo-US nuclear deal, a light-hearted question uh, uh, on that front. Uh, in your book, you had mentioned that you know when you first met uh, the US president after the Indo-US nuclear deal was signed, he said, "Oh, you are that Kakodkar," and uh, you were described as a hundred-ton gorilla who spoke logic but wouldn't budge. <laughs> 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 I think 600, <laughs> 600 pounds. Okay. So what happened exactly? No, see the point is uh, when these negotiations were going on, uh, see larger geopolitics, it appeared to be that there is some convergence, congruence. Uh, so everybody on both sides, they are very excited that we should do this. So when it comes to sorting out the nuclear matter, the see there has been a, a so-called non-proliferation architecture and there is a fairly large intellectual power in US which has really built this non-proliferation architecture. So they were Ayatollah. called Ayatollahs of, Ayatollahs. Ayatollahs of non-proliferation. Ayatollahs, okay. So, obviously when... Led by Leonard Spector. <laughs> okay. So, when it came to, you know, developing this cooperation, uh, obviously, so, just like in India, we have several fractions or factions. Similarly, same is the case in all countries. So, this was a very strong group. So, they said, let us extract as much as possible right now because afterwards probably nothing may happen. And so uh, the question was, we must put Indian program under control. Mm. Now, of course, uh, that India had declared itself as a nuclear weapon state was a fact. Right. And uh, now, uh, you can't be uh, agreeing to conditions where it, India is a nuclear weapon state today and tomorrow it is not. You can't right. agree to that. So, uh, we had to create a framework for India where uh, uh, India is able to pursue uh, its development both in the military side as well as on the civilian side to meet its own requirements. It's not necessary that somebody will say this is in your interest, that is in your right, interest. Right. All that could be determined by it. So that autonomy of decision making and pursuing that path was extremely important. So it was with that condition I had drawn some red lines. That I am for cooperation, but thus far and no further. Now negotiators are negotiators, they want to and they found that uh, I was a, probably a tough guy, unreasonable at times. So maybe our people also found me very unreasonable. And then the fear was that if that be so, this whether this will break down, this great opportunity, whether it will. So there was all that tension on both sides, the tension on the American side. <laughs> so that is where uh, uh, I think, uh, there was this Indo um, uh, US India forum. Right. Mm -hmm. Business Business Forum. US India US Business IBC, forum. I think. So they have been their missions have been coming. There are people from both India and uh, US side. And their job was to lobby. They have been lobbying in Delhi, they have been lobbying in Washington. Uh, Washington and uh, and I think they have made a contribution, let's say right. that. But they somehow got this wind that, you know, everything is all right, but the fellow is, uh, there is this fellow. So, so does it look like a 600 pound gorilla? <laughs> 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 so Physically is a light is, but scientifically and in terms of moral authority. It is, it is those people, a big they, heavyweight. they gave out uh, in the to US media, not here, okay. US media, this nomenclature. So that is how it stuck and uh, so that, uh, of course, I I never got perturbed out of that. I so, when, that. so when did you run into the US president? No, this was after everything was resolved, you know, we went through all this, uh, as you say. And it was resolved to your satisfaction? Uh, go down the wire, all that thing happened. 
it was result of, then uh, and this was happening when uh, as president bush was arriving okay. to india because you know the maximum crisis was the day before or two days before right okay.